half followed by Rabbi. It's going to be 5.50. Please be on time. 5.50 here in the annex. The Aracha, when it comes to Birkat HaMazon, a person will hear is Kaddish or Kiddushah. He's in the middle of saying Birkat HaMazon, and he hears somebody saying uh, Kaddish. Should he answer Amen? Should he answer Yeshem Merba in the middle of Birkat HaMazon? The Aracha says Birkat HaMazon has the status of Tefilat Shmona Yisrael, and you do not answer. You do not answer, not for Kaddish, not for Kiddushah, not for Barichu. All the matters of Kiddushah, you have to Shomea Kione. You remain silent, you listen, and that's it. Because you cannot answer Amen. Uh, the only time Hamu originally said that even in the fourth Barcha, you can't answer Amen. Not just the first three Barchot, which are from the Torah, even the fourth Barcha. Later on, he retracted. Later on in Hanichot Olam, he said, no, in the fourth bracha, because it's the Rabbanan, you should answer Amen. And that's the Aracha. The Aracha is a bracha revit, which is the bracha of Atov Amitiv. Right after Bonei Yerushalayim, that's already the Rabbanan. And for Kaddish and Kiddushah, you could answer just like you would answer for Kiryat Shema and the brachot of the Kiryat Shema. The same rules that apply for the Kiryat Shema and the brachot. After you finish the fourth bracha, the Arachamans, it's much more lenient because it's not a bracha anymore. So therefore, when you get up to the Arachamans, you can answer pretty much everything in the Arachamans. But the fir- fourth bracha, you're allowed to answer. The first three brachot, which are de'oraita, you're not allowed to answer even matters of Kiddushah. Amen.